New video tonight you'll see only on two. A team of thieves with several getaway cars trying to break into cars in a neighborhood on the southwest side. Fed up neighbors say the same suspects keep coming back night after night. They spoke with our Germont Terry. On the southwest side, neighbors are fed up. They're hitting everybody like back to back to back. Here's what Adriana Alejandro Martinez is talking about. Thieves lurking in the night, but they're doing more than just looking. Surveillance shows them breaking into cars around West Lawn Park from Kildare to Cicero. This is video from Tuesday night on Colon. Then Wednesday night, it's believed the same crew returned. You see them pull up in one vehicle. Someone breaks into a truck, then drives off. They're working in groups. There's three cars, one in the front, middle, and the back. And but some are armed. They've already shot at a couple actual neighbors that tried to, you know, stop them. And that leaves neighbors worried the thefts will only get worse. They're brazen. They don't really care, you know, and I, and I honestly think they get a thrill out of it. But there's nothing fun about coming out to broken windows, a stolen car, or a $700 bill for a stolen catalytic converter. It's not fair for the people that work very hard, like Adriana said, you know, you work very hard to get you whatever you want, and then they come in and just take it away like that. And while Chicago police are aware of the thefts and looking into whether the same crew is connected to these crimes, those in West Lawn are not just standing by and waiting. You realize police can't be everywhere. Eddie Gilliam with the West Lawn Neighborhood Association heard about the uptick and the volunteers will beef up patrols. The well, majority of times we're out Friday and Saturday, which is the peak times that a lot of things are happening. But for now, the volunteers in safety vests will start coming out on weeknights. They won't confront, only report suspicious things to police. That's all we're doing is observing, reporting it, and we hopefully we could be a deterrent in the community. Now, safety is key for the volunteers. They patrol in groups. Neighbors say they've spotted the same car on many home surveillance videos in recent weeks. The crooks, they know they're being recorded, and that's doing little to stop them. Live in the newsroom tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News. Erica. Thank you, Jermont.